Hi, welcome back to the channel. Um, Andrew here, so I'm working on the Cavalier at the moment. Um, I've got this bit of the floor to start welding. Um, I'd originally started, I had just patched up a bit here and here, and I thought this doesn't look as if it's finished, like the rust. So I worked my way down here, this bit off, and then a bit in here. You can see the end of the this kind of jacking bit here. This was actually replaced a couple of years ago, about three, four years ago. So it's still not too bad, but this bit had been rusting away. So I've made up this panel here. So that'll sit underneath and come up here. And then what I'm then going to do is put this, I've got a template here, so I'm going to put this over here, like so. Um, and then weld that on and that'll finish that bit. <clears throat> so basically I'm just making up cardboard templates and then making the metal up, getting it all ready. I want to weld it all in one go. Um, and then once it's once it's welded around here, um, there's a bit a wee bit here. That, that's not actually a hole, well it is a hole, a gap through there, but the ceiling goes along here uh, outside. And that's actually a, like a hole in the chassis leg, like a proper hole it's meant to be there but it just pokes through into the bulkhead but what I'll do is I'll seal it from the outside there once this is all on um, here so let me just clean all this up before I weld over it I'll put rust eater and stuff in here as well I chipped all the rust off There's, I still see some of it in there um, right along kind of here and still some here as well so I need to chip that away with a, a screwdriver or something um, and hoover it out, got all the dust out it and then I just need to make this panel up here so you can see where that sits on there so I'll just be using, that's just cornflakes packet so what I usually do is put it start off with a kind of bigger bit and then you can see that kind of line, I don't know if you can see it, there's a line down there so I just, I get around it and I just press it into the clear bit at the back, press it around to where I'm welding it <clears throat> and that gives me a kind of template where to cut out um, and then I just I cut it down and down until it's the right size and it's the right shape and stuff so well, that's what I'm doing at the moment anyway so although the next video is coming up with the rest of the work so I'll uh, you can catch me in that name videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers.